What is up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends news. In today's video, we look at the upcoming event in Shadowgun Legends. The hunt for Captain Blue Ball's treasure is about to end Monday morning exactly. And the next event will be a PvP event. Now that's pretty good news considering the update's been pushed back a little bit. Uh, it will be submitted on Wednesday, so it should be live on Friday. And we know we have a new legendary coming at Nitro's shop when the update drops. I talked in my previous video that I was going to do a lot of PvP now until the update drops because I want a lot of war points to be able to buy the new legendary when it's released. So perfect timing for a PvP event. So the new event is called Hostile Takeover. But it says PvP Madness Volume 5 on the bottom right of the artwork. So it's a bit confusing, but still, we'll have a legal utility belt. So it's a cosmetic, of course, hostile takeover sticker. And in Extremis 9000, I'll give you a little bit more information in a moment. But first, I want to talk about the technical details. The event is going to be similar to the Broadcast Wars event. If you guys remember, the Broadcast Wars event was three repeatable quests that you could get at Nitro's. It was playable in the PvP game modes. I remember get four kills in a row and then I don't remember the second one but the last one was get 10 kills with skills. So the new event's gonna be something like that. More repeatable quests that you can claim at Nitro and it gives you some challenges for the PvP games. Now some guys were a bit disappointed on the Broadcast Wars rewards. Some guys said it was not a lot of fame or not a lot of uh, war coins for completing the tasks. But the thing is you already get the war coins for winning or losing the games. So the quests are just a little extra to give you a reason to try something different. When you have a quest like that, Sometimes you would play different skills just because you want to do the quest faster. So it just gives you things to do and it makes things more interesting. But the rewards are just a little extra. So once again, the PvP rewards will be added into the Nitro shop. So we don't have a new armor set this time. We don't have a bunch of weapon. It's one cosmetic, one weapon and one sticker. But it's not a big deal. As I already said at the start of the video, we have another reason to play is the war coins themselves. You want war coins if you don't play PvP much. You probably need at least 1,500 or something like that to get the new weapon. It's the one in the middle, by the way. If you missed my previous video, it's been confirmed now on the mad stream. The one in the middle is the Nitro Legendary. The other two will be the Hive Mind Legendaries. So it's the Faraday Accelerator. Uh, Liberator costs 1,400 coins. So I'm expecting something like that for the next one. Maybe more, but I don't know. So I need War Coins for that. I need War Coins for the new stuff. And I need War Coins on top of that because I want some extra war coins the armor that's currently available at nitros i'm still waiting to see some good perks but if i ever see some crazy good perks i need the coins to buy and it's gonna cost another thousand plus so we'll be playing a lot of pvp next week i already said i want to play pvp monday tuesday and wednesday on the live stream now let's look at the last reward i said in extremis 9000 was going to be a weapon you see two weapons on the picture you see a rifle on the ground and you see a pistol in the hand of the other guy in the back. So the in Extremis 9000 is going to be a pistol. Yeah, another pistol. We didn't see many pistols in events. The last one was a very good one. I heard I didn't buy it myself, but I see a lot of guys that loved it. So you can take a closer look, but we don't see much. I had to resize the picture to just get a little look at it, but small details. Uh, it's going to be a surprise. We're going to see it in the shop Monday. One more bit of information, the colors on the belt and the pistol could be different from what we see on the picture but we will see monday in the shop what exactly we're looking at so that's it already for today's video hope you guys enjoyed leave a like if you did i will see you guys on the pvp next week for sure don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more shadow gun legends news gameplay and guides i will be back soon until then watch my other videos take care